people. Uh, let's test this out, shall we? We have a brand new shiny cable outside the house now for our internet. Hopefully, <laughs> replacing the old one will have fixed my intermittent connection issues. I'll still plug in my phone just in case. I don't trust this thing at this point. Anyway, this is gonna be Assassin's Creed Part 6. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3 Part 6. And uh, this is gonna be the finale tonight. Uh, hold on, bear with me. Alright. Gonna tether my PC to it. There we go. Over USB, please. Alright, that way if something goes south, I will have this to fall back on. But normally it shouldn't. I ran tests this whole afternoon and... I didn't have any loss of data, so I suppose this normally should mean that we have a much better connection than before. Regardless, anyway, let's com let's continue. I think I'll clear the story, then maybe do a couple optional stuff to finish today's stream before I start something else tomorrow. And tomorrow I should start Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, if all goes well. Unless I change my mind before then, but we'll see. <clears throat> I'd rather not make any promises. Okay, I was wondering if you could climb this ladder. Uh, no, okay. I guess it's just propped up against it. But that's about it. Beat up the merchant to help the starving children. Uh, okay, no, not not now. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> because why not? Uh, am I far of my, uh, from my destination, or what? Oh, well, okay, I was almost there, but... I think this is the final mission, the next one. Ah, Boston. Okay.
Okay, where do we go? Main mission, it says. If there's a shop along the way, I should probably see if I can upgrade something, or maybe buy more arrows, or refill my supply of bullets. This is something I should have done, actually, over the course of the game, gradually, but I didn't. I guess it's not like a role-playing game, like, w where you would have to get your character to become stronger, or... Upgrade your equipment. So it has to be better at your job of killing people. What were this place is? Oh. No, I'm not playing that game. I was looking for a merchant. A peddler. Where can I find that? Is there any? Ah, I can fast travel to that location if I want to. Okay. Yeah, well, why not do that, actually? And I'll try to find a merchant along the way. Or maybe I've got that confused with Assassin's Creed 4, where you could buy better swords and the like. Okay, now come on. You think there would be a merchant on the uh, at the docks, right? Or close by? The Boston Weekly Advertiser. Get it here. Mm. Paul Dawson, Charles B. Shoemaker. This is the exact same sign that I saw earlier. Yeah, a lot of the signs repeat, okay. <laughs> Adam's Tavern, the greatest rum in Boston. Yeah, they may want to shoot me for ju just for being on the on the rooftop. So, mm, blacksmith shop. I can't go in. Ah, well, we're here. Ah, the green dragon. Like having my time wasted. 
Stop that! Oh, don't, don't make me call the guards. Make a sound and you die. <clears throat> what do you want? <clears throat> He's in the harbor, at the long pier, most likely. We heard what happened at the parade. Charles got all nervous, said he was leaving the country. I thought it was overreacted. It's not. No. <sighs> Thank you. Can't you play checkers in this game, or is it only in Assassin's Creed 4? Because those games, I'm, I'm really not good at those. Checkers, at least I have some idea of what I'm doing. <laughs> Everything you could possibly need. Okay, hold on. What do we have here? Items. Thank you, he says. Okay, I haven't done anything, but he says thank, thank you. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> A shopping list? Soap? Toy dolls? <laughs> At the end of the long pier, they say. Hmm. And I guess it's pretty foggy on purpose. Activate Eagle Vision and look for a golden target. And just as it happens, there's a ladder right there. Let's gain some height and uh, okay it's faint but I think I can see something gold over there I could take care of this right here, right now. <laughs> if I try to aim for him, I target those at the back instead. So I can't kill him from a distance. Yeah, that's cheap from the game to do that. But yeah, okay, I guess I can't kill him from there, huh? Yeah, there's, there's nothing for it. You can aim at the others, but not him. Oh, there. No need for me to hide in there. <laughs> not the most courageous guy out there. Mm. Oh man! I'll ah, reduce distance to target. <laughs> Do it when I can. Ow! Yeah, well. Shouldn't be drinking. <clears throat> 
Come on, start running. Oh, whoa. And I lost him already, I believe. It's too late. This is too slow. Run! Why did he stop running? I hate that kind of scripted bullshit. Come on! I was stuck. No, I don't want to become famous. Thank you very much. Goodbye. But th that's cheap. He stopped running for no reason. It was like... Hmm. Come on, start running. I'm holding down the button and he refuses to run. Okay, where am I supposed to go from there? I'm stuck? Or you climb here? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'd like to see you try reduce distance to target. Since I can't follow him and I have to figure out where to climb in this place. Start running. I was aiming for the dock. You can't go in there. You can't go in there. There's been an accident.
Ah, like this. Where is he even going? Okay, I was walking on thin air. This is such a glitchy mess. They say do not show anyone, but he was he got blown off his feet because of the explosion. This is scripted. Come on. Come on. Where do I go from there? It's impossible. You could totally have climbed there, but... Guess the game doesn't want me to. I don't know where to go! <laughs> hey, RNG! She said get him. <laughs> oh, but come on. You could totally get him. It's probably scripted so you can't, but... What are you supposed to do here? I'm stuck. I get stuck on the scenery all the time. How am I supposed to survive this? He grabs onto ladders that he is not supposed to and stuff.
do you go down the ladder? No. Because you die if you do. What is pushing me back here? There's nothing. Air. Just the air. Well, he's still inside the ship, so yeah, no. It's somewhere inside the ship, but uh, not sure where exactly. Take aim! Right, I'm supposed to see this happen, clearly. Where is he exactly? I'm supposed to be up there, apparently, I think. Yeah, because I think this is where he runs. <laughs> I tried to jump in front of the explosion, but that didn't quite r work as intended. <laughs> I got blown away. <laughs> I figure maybe if I'm not on the ground, it will not have this recoil animation. Come on, keep going. Ah, oh, but why? He wasn't that far away. <sighs> this is getting old. But 
This is the way I'm supposed to go, though. I have to climb on top of that thing. It seems that this is where he is running himself. And every time you have to redo the whole chase from the beginning. I mean, you have to watch someone else do it. Come on! Okay, where do you intend for me to go from here? Because... He has no reason to not make it. There is no valid reason. I'll give this one last try and then I'll have to look up the solution on the internet because I don't know where to go from there. I'm so close to him too. Well, actually, hold on. Let me try one last time. I think maybe where I was trying to jump in the fire, I think I may, may be able to jump just to the right of it where there's no fire. Looks like it did it may let me through there. I'm glad I didn't try to do that last night. Because when you're already under pressure to finish, and you have to face something hard like that, That's where he is.
Well, I didn't have to look up the solution in the end. Hey, come on, don't let him get away. I'm surprised I got all the objectives in the end. After all those times I failed. Oh, I need the steps. Uh oh. <laughs> Come on, Connor. You can do it. I think it's on pretty well now, it's not gonna come loose. <laughs> That's not over. I thought this was the final one. But yeah, as best as I could tell, this was the end, but I guess it's not. Warning, enemy convoy leading. I don't care. I can barely walk. If anything, I move, I move faster through the bushes than otherwise. <laughs> Who do you think is gonna shoot first? Han or Greedo? <laughs>
is wearing that amulet around his neck. <sighs> Little did you know it was poison <laughs> because he was already done for and he's taking you with him. <laughs> Can one of you guys talk, please? This is awkward. I guess this one's not getting up. But I'm in pretty bad shape myself, though. Kanata <laughs> Seiton. Why would they leave this behind? Ah, uh, long have we waited for you to return. You have done as we asked. You have succeeded. No, I have failed. My people are gone, chased out by those who I thought would protect them. It is a trade, a sacrifice, and not in vain. For you have found it. This? Now you must hide it, where none shall think to look. And then in time, in time, what once was shall be. Again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then, you may do as you wish. But what of my people? You have saved this place, as was your people's purpose. And that matters most. It is not enough. It will never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. Still, you have made a difference, and you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it. It's literally the same animation as what happens if he gives some food to pigs and roosters and stuff. That Thank you, Nikopa, for the follow. Well, I guess this is it. Well, hey, Panda, how's it going today? Good, just had a job interview. Went well, ah, that, that's good news. Glad that it went well then. 
Uh, who's this? Achilles. Connor Davenport. <laughs> Abigail Davenport. Connor Davenport. Ah, the. Achilles' son, perhaps? What's he doing? Why is he digging up the grave? What, burying the hatchet? No? <laughs> ah, no, this thing! Where no one will think to look. So I guess now we know where to look. Let's go. Here lies the body of Achilles Davenport. Oh yeah, and the, bit, the little bit of string is still intact. This is it. We're right behind you. And I guess I put the keys in place. I'm back in control. <laughs> Would they follow me back outside if I if I did go? Nah, no, I can't jump. No, okay, <laughs> game won't let me. <laughs> This is some kind of controlled cutscene. Ah, here they come. No? Thought I heard them. Ah, there, there they are. Oh uh, no, it's gonna be another... Here, at last. It's gonna be another... You know oh story. no, what have I done? Kind of, of story. <laughs> of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal! Minerva? You! 
But how? You left. <sighs> you destroyed the device. Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used oh no! Everything we've done! Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her call. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinia and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. He's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. Yeah, try me. <laughs> if you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and fire into the sky all the world will burn but this does not end the world merely heralds its arrival darkness follows then you emerge resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again you will become a symbol to those who survive hope knowledge determination Hmm, a be bearded boy now. To thrive once more, and as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time as a god. It is the cruelest fate. To have written words that meant well, and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see, that what was shall be again. <sighs> How is this better? I don't know! She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them. And you see it all <clears> return. <throat> Enough! You must not... Stop bickering! Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way ah, to stop it. True. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. 
Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another way. There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! Oh, well, he wasn't dead, apparently. <laughs> it's some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain... Hooray! We made it to the end. Geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest... On record. Satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier levels. Obviously, it will be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's event. But it appears the worst is behind. Yeah, thank you. you. To bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now... Now it's time that I played mine. Mm-hmm. And I don't even particularly recall... The, the next one, uh, Black Flag, to have much to do with that. Okay, uh, if I do skip it... Ah, uh, it's not possible? Ah, oh, well. I was about to say, if I do skip it, do, do I miss a potential post-credit scene, or what? be sleeping late today. I can feel it. So I'll keep playing a little bit of the the optional stuff so as to not end streaming for today after 57 minutes. Thoughts on the game after playing it a second time? I still like the story quite a lot, but at least the part that is about uh, uh, what's happening uh, in America, because the rest of the game I can't really relate to it too much, having not played all of the series. doesn't make much sense to me why these characters are doing what they do. Because they assume that you have played previous games. But yeah, I, I like it. I, li I like the Native American thing and 
everything that happens in America. <clears throat> Their historical background of things is what I enjoy the most in this game. The other one that I have, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I guess it also has a sort of historical background to it, I suppose, but is it? Is it mostly fables or is it really deeply rooted in reality in, in what really happens I don't know Eight programmers, engine game character presentation online. Don't let you skip. Well, it is a long end credit sequence. Eventually, I will stream Assassin's Creed 4, actually. I should add it to my list so I don't forget. But yeah, the next game I intend to stream will be Fire Emblem Path of Radiance on GameCube. Followed by Super Mario World on the SNES, then Xenoblade Chronicles on Switch. Uh, then Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes on GameCube. Then either Solato Robo and, or Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I haven't quite decided yet. I just downloaded a mod this afternoon for Met Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes that changes the music back to the PlayStation 1 music, changed it for, from the GameCube version. Because I do actually prefer the PS1 music over the music of the remake. But the remake looks nicer though, so I, I wouldn't want to go back to playing the original version, but that was one of the few 
drawbacks of that version of the music, and I guess now it, it sounds better than ever. The way it does sound now. Okay, we seem to be coming to the end of the the end credits. If you're already at the testing team. <laughs> Ah, sorry, Monica. Hello there. Came right at the credits, huh? What a shame. Oh, well. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm still gonna keep playing a bit, though. I'm not ending straight away. How's it going? Me, tired, because I've been going to sleep late and getting up early two days in a row. We had the technician come home, could come to our home again this morning for, uh trying to fix our internet we have a shiny brand new cable now going from our house to the thing outside apparently the old cable was pretty old the the the, the previous one so hopefully now I got better internet than ever it seems to be working more stably than before at least but well that's what I thought too when the last one came <laughs> And then those problems started popping up again two months later, so I don't want to cry a victory too soon. <laughs> At this point, I wouldn't be too confident. <clears throat> but I'm pretty good otherwise. Damn, these credits last forever. You can't skip them. Maybe there's post-credit stuff? That's hopeful. Our internet has been bad, but they also said they were coming out soon to upgrade it. Hopefully that works. Well, we've had multiple upgrades, us. We had problems before, like in the past. Like, uh, say, uh, six, uh, four to five months ago. Then they changed our router. Then... The quality of the of the internet was better, but then we had multiple disconnections. So we had another technician come like two months ago. They they changed uh, like an amplifier that we have at the wall inside the house, and that worked well enough for two months. And then we started having problems again. And now we've got an upgrade of the cable that's outside the house. So uh, I think now pretty much everything that's on our on, on our hands has been upgraded in one way or another. I'm trying to figure out what to pack since I'll be gone the whole weekend. Hmm. Well, clothes for one thing. Toothbrush. <laughs> I'm kind of paranoid about forgetting something, so I am a bit panicked. I don't know. <laughs> Not used to traveling, maybe. But you won't be gone for long, so would it be bad if you were missing anything? Just for just for a few days like that. 
if you have any medication that you must not forget, then obviously you would do well to bring those with you. <laughs> it goes on and on and on and on. Portuguese Brazil version by... Okay. Well, there is a tiny little bit of the game that takes place in Brazil, so... Kinda used to it, it's just, I wanna be prepared for anything. <laughs> the Polish version... The Czech version... I wonder how the Native American guy sounds in Japanese, maybe. <laughs> that must be pretty funny to listen to. <laughs> or George Washington speaking Japanese. <laughs> I can't help but wonder if I might need a thing, even though I know I wouldn't. Mm. Don't stress yourself too much. It'll be fine. I'm sure. Uh, there's a Danish version, apparently. Casper Orloff. Orloff? I don't know how to pronounce that. Tools programmers. A million people worked on this. <laughs> Uh, At the end of the credits is... Did we forget anyone? <laughs> is there someone else we should include? Special thanks to the janitor... <laughs> of uh, Ubisoft Montreal or something. It's like a bad habit, worrying about something minor like that. Well, it's, it, it's something that you have to do. I mean, plan ahead for what you want to pack or not. And I guess you would maybe wonder more about what you have to bring or not if you plan on traveling light without making sure you're not forgetting anything essential. <laughs> Yeah, I believe there were some unlockables that you could get from connecting your, your connecting your Ubisoft account in Uplay or whatever it was. I think that's not supported anymore, though. I 
I've made a short list of what to remember. I just worry. <laughs> yeah. But what if my list isn't complete? <laughs> <sighs> I swear I can't remember ever seeing a credits roll that was so long and that you can't skip <laughs> like in a film yeah okay I guess it makes sense and even then <laughs> unless it's a, something huge like a, a film that was a, a movie that was like filmed in like 30 different locations all around the world with different teams for uh, all, all of these uh, sh shooting places. <sighs> Endless credits. Well, it does feel like that. Have you ever played Banjo Banjo Kazooie Gr Grunty's Revenge? No, I never played this one. Well, br briefly, I mean, uh, d d just to try it out, but I never tried to play it seriously with the intent of ever finishing it. Couldn't get into it quite as much as the 3D games. I mean, I guess it's good for what it is for a top-down 2D platform game. As weird as it sounds. Describing a, a top-down platform game. Platform game. But most people who have played it to completion seem to say that it's actually pretty decent. So maybe eventually this is something I'll have to do. Just found some of the songs on YouTube. They sound nice. It looks like it's on Game Boy. Well, it is a Game Boy. It is on Game Boy Advance, but. <laughs> And I guess the Game Boy Advance shares a lot with uh, the original Game Boy, so... Maybe I have to wait till the end too so that it saves what I've done. What, they're gonna list everyone who works at Ubisoft US? Even those that had nothing to do with the game? Oh yeah, by the way, we have these people working for us. They have nothing to do with the game, but let's list them anyway. <laughs> Special thanks. Are we getting there? Ah, just regular thanks, not not special. <laughs> yeah, it's like thanks, I guess. <laughs> this guy walked past the office while we were working on the game. <laughs> 
he stopped to uh, to ask to use our restroom. Just <laughs> shout out to that guy. <laughs> Powered by Adobe Flash. Ooh, we know we're in good hands. The people I made eye contact with on my way home. <laughs> oh, excuse Imagine walking up to these people. Excuse me, uh, we made eye contact, so now I have to put you in the credits of our game. Could I have your name, please? Because <laughs> if I don't have your name, I can't put you in the credits, you see. <laughs> you were a big influence on the development of the game, just because we made eye contact. Okay. Uh, I'm in the Animus, but there's no character model. Yeah, Rip Flash. <laughs> Doesn't exist anymore. Ah, see? 1783. There is a post-credit thing. My costumes! Man, really have to wait long for that, yeah. <laughs> what am I gonna do with my life now? After spending so many years trying to kill red coats. <laughs> ah, the war is over. Taking out the hatchet. <laughs> Or is it? <laughs> mm, might want to leave it in a bit longer. I know. <laughs> okay, he's taking it off. My war is over. And I guess now you're free to go uh, wherever you please. <laughs> Keep doing missions and stuff. There's a lot of optional stuff I didn't do, so... Okay, what's that thing there? Oh no, not this one. No, not Fanorona. I suck at this. <laughs> It's a game from Madagascar or something like that, a board game. I could never understand the rules. I mean, the other is like uh, ch Chinese checkers or whatever, however it's called. Uh, at, at least I understand the rules. It's just, it's just I'm, I'm really bad at strategizing the whole thing. But Fanarona, I don't even get the rules. <laughs> it's like Encyclopedia of the Common Man. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead, a true log of how people live during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Yeah, we've got Templars to kill and all that, and uh, a whole country to save, but yeah, I'll find time for that. 
Hold ZL to analyze inhabitants and add information. Okay. I know there are missions to add new inhabitants. To the to the homestead, but maybe I have to look for them. If this is is this extra content or like a game plus thing? No, these are just things that I could have done over the course of the game, but that were totally unrelated and unnecessary to the development of the of the main story. I think like how how complete am I? Yeah, thirty six percent only. I've only done thirty six percent of all the content that is to be achieved in the game. I guess by playing through the story without trying to fulfill all the optional objectives playing through the main missions. The, this game has more optional stuff than actual game in it. I take care of my tools. She says so proudly. <laughs> Inhabitants recorded. Huntress. One out of three. Okay, uh... What, are those all the things that I have to register, perhaps? With the mission I currently have going on? Yes yeah, so or what? Mm, I don't know. Oh, do I have to register the horse? Mm. This is a horse. <laughs> Better write that down. <laughs> no? I know, okay, I guess this is not part of it. <laughs> Uh, let's just look around, I guess. Uh, no, this is to go to the frontier. I may come across some stuff to do along the way. Oh, Dogo! I had to do that. <laughs> okay, if it doesn't have a saddle, they don't let you ride it. It makes sense, at least. Or I guess these white dots on the map, it's only so that you can put a marker on them, perhaps. So that you can set a course to uh, that, that location. Mm, could be. Only as a convenience thing. By the way, what's, the, what's that objective marker here? <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm? Who lives here? Add these two dudes. Lumberers. One out of three. Okay, they both count as that one thing. Ah, well. Uh... <sighs> I'll go to Boston. I'll find some stuff to do there. Freeing the population, feeding the kids. Slaughtering the tax collectors. <laughs> New York Frontiersmen uh, Where's Boston and all that? Oh yeah, there was a fort down there that I could try to assault. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, I'm leaving, gentlemen. Don't mind me. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, more or less. Well, there it is. I, I think I can remember this place. Well, there's more more than one of these forts that you have to recon reconquer or stuff. Uh. Come here. Hide. Hide! Why, why won't he crouch? Okay. You there, stop. Hold, stand still. Wow, they could see me? I was behind the tree. Is that a bell I can hear or is that in the music? Why won't he crouch in these things to, so has to hide? Well, 
put out the alarm? Why won't he crouch? I don't get it. Uh, is this card going for the fort? Wait a minute. Was he actually crouching now? It looks like he's trying to do it, and then... Yeah, I I'm not doing anything. And then he gets back up. Makes no sense. Okay. And now he seems to want to hide. Okay. Well, that's progress. <laughs> or is it just with certain s with certain bushes? No. Now he want he agrees to do it whenever I ask him to. That's uh, brilliant. <laughs> A game working as intended. Wow. Huh? What is that? I don't like the fat, fat ones. Because <laughs> they're tougher to kill. Hey! <laughs> Ragdoll body physics. I guess I could have infiltrated the fort by uh, by getting into that thing, but well. I guess instead of being careful about it, we're just gonna storm the place.
By the way, I didn't pick any arrows from the, the, the these guys. Couldn't stay long, it was nice watching the credits, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get to see much else, that's a bit of a shame, but... <laughs> what if you have to go, Monica? Have a good stay with your friend. This weekend. And don't stress too much. I'm here for the credits, <laughs> yeah. Approach the fort. Yeah. To find and destroy the powder reserve. Oh, what, I had to do it with these guys helping me? Wait, they closed the gates? Wait, what? Wait, where is this guy going? Where is this guy going? It's a special day today, so family time. Just forgot, but have a good rest of the day, everyone. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, no, pro no problem, Monica. See you in a few days, then, I suppose. Take care of yourself. What's this guy doing? <laughs> What's this guy doing? Where is he going with it with his cart? Where is he trying to climb? L look at that! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Off-roading. <laughs> well, I guess <laughs> we're stuck. Uh, you know what? I can't even get off. <laughs> I can't get off. <laughs> Rip game. <laughs> I thought I had to, to to enter the fort by hiding in the cart. I'm stuck. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna switch over to my SNES games. Uh, so uh, I guess this, this sums up the whole game, I suppose. It's a glitchy mess, like these open world games tend to be of often. <coughs> can't stop chuckling <laughs> anyway so this will be all for Assassin's Creed and I'll finish the night playing uh, some random SNES games I guess I'd like to play a bit more of cool spot that I was playing the other day uh, I'll just change the title of the the thing on Twitch I haven't been disconnected so far also so that's perhaps good news for my internet connection going forward what's he saying Retro. Alright, okay. There we go. Alright, I'll stop the stream, change a couple settings in OBS, and then I'll be right back.